listen, I'm calling to you with some very good news. It's negative 61 degrees here, finally in Antarctica. I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. It's exactly the hearty temperature needed for science experiments, and that's what I thought too. I'm going to go outside, and I was just about to put my thermodynamic knee socks on when I saw this final submission to my writing challenge come in from Josiah. Now, probably remember Josiah. Josiah has been writing for a very long time and has been published almost weekly in my writing challenge. Thanks, of course, to my brilliant writing challenges. But what Josiah has done this week shows what a dedicated writer he is. Look, just look at this piece of writing. It was, uh, it first was the ketchup spinner light, and now, through revision, Josiah has transformed it to the sauce spinner light. It's come to life. I know what you're thinking. You've seen ketchup spinners before, but this advertisement, this revision has so much more. For example, the new detail of the yogurt spinner, which is made for sprinkling yogurt all over our lawn. And who among us has never longed for such an invention? Now, we don't need to sprinkle the yogurt by hand anymore. In Josiah's second draft, I also read about all the places where one could use the spinner. For example, the International Space Station. And let me just tell you, Josiah did not lose any of the humor of the first piece. In fact, it got even funnier in revision. Now there are yogurt trees and there's an anti-gravity issue with the sauce spinning. I mean, come on, that's funny. So I'm gonna purchase all the items in the spinner catalog for at least negative $33. I, I really have to go. As you know, I'm very busy. I need to take a long, thoughtful frolic in the ice so that I can get to work on my experiments. And before I do that, I want to declare my magnificent writing challenge at a close for now. The writers have given me oodles of hours of ideas to process and to laugh about, and I, I guess you could say I enjoyed them while I was isolated. And so then, I guess you could say that I am the real winner of Dr. Blotch's writing challenge. That's it. I win. But these writers, they're really not that bad either. Mildred, I think, I think I'm gonna publish them in a book. It could be called Dr. Blotch's writing book. And I think maybe they should keep writing all summer long and who knows, maybe they could start a challenge of their own one day.